That's why she is in the World Cup. In 2018 was the first time we had women go to the World Championship in Portugal. And we won out of the box. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Big. The United States hadn't won a gold medal in 62 years. And for the for our premier event as women, we brought home gold for the US. So it was historic in a lot of ways, what happened there. <laughs> Now, the United States women's team will be competing for the second time at the world level, and it will be in Italy in mid-September. The team has quite a diverse set of women, but all have one thing in common, and that they're very good at what they do. I'm Melody Engel, and I'm captain of the women's United States freediving spearfishing team. We're training, doing pool training, freediving training, spearing as much as we can, studying as much as we can about this fish. So we've got Rosabel, she was born in Cuba and found out when her 20s she had a six minute breath hold. It was really by accident. They, everyone was holding their breath in a, at college and it was my turn and I, could do, I did like three minutes and a half, which I didn't even know that that was good or bad or, and that's how it all started. Uh, and, and I joined the team, had to learn how to swim because I didn't know how to swim, that was the other challenge. Uh, but eventually I was able to, you know, perform in, in competitions in pool only. Uh, then I moved to the States and that's when I found out about freediving for depth. And that's how I got involved in, you know, freediving and then spearfishing. So how old were you when you learned to swim? I was around 20 years old. And now next month you're going to go to a world competition? Correct, I'm hoping so. It's different for sure. <laughs> and, you know, some people think I'm crazy, but you know, there's a lot of crazy people out there that love this too. So there's a bunch of us out there. All right, St. Pete open. It gives me so much pleasure being able to, to catch a fish and, and bring dinner to, the, to my family. It's great. You get satisfaction out of this. There's a nice cobia down there at the bottom. Nice cobia. So it is a different perspective coming from scuba diving. Like I felt like I was one with the ocean, like more on a level playing field from a hunting standpoint, you know, because it, it's hard to go down and hunt fish without any air supply. It's a pool. Yeah, pool. It's a pretty heavy one, huh? That's a nice Gouda. Yeah, I felt pretty good. But definitely a good feeling when you get that shot. You never know until it's actually on the boat though. Because sometimes you even take a good shot, you think you got it. And then as you're pulling it off, you know, anything can happen. So it's not a sure thing until it is in the fish box, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, then we're gonna put this one. Right, where's my gun? It's Cubans, we love to eat barracuda. Nothing goes to wait. Everything we shoot gets consumed. Thank you. There's a lot of pride. You're representing your country. So you need to give 150%. And I think we've got a really good team. And I think we have the potential to win. You know, there's a lot of conditions that happen, whether the visibility of the water, whether the fish are there or not. I think that we've got the best talent that we could possibly have in order to do the job. So let's see how it goes.